So I was speaking to a trader this morning, and this has been a trader that I've known for a few years now. And every time we speak, he's typically bouncing from one system to another, trying to chase that that holy grail of trading. And now this conversation today went a lot better. It seemed like the trader is uh, focused on uh, a single system, or at least has an idea of what type of trader they want to be. But towards the very end of our conversation, he asked me a very good question. He said, Akil, I wish, you know, I love your YouTube videos. I wish that you offered the, the trading course for free. Um, but I have one thing that I wish you and, and other trading educators out there would do. And I said, he said, I wish you guys would share the secret to success. I know there is some type of secret out there that the very high 1% of traders are hiding that they're using to be profitable and which normal traders don't have knowledge about. And I said, do you really want the secret? Because I can tell you the secret to success. The secret is there is no secret, right? We always make up this holy grail. We think there must be a, a magic strategy, a magic indicator, a magic technique that you know only a small percentage of traders use to make money in the markets while everyone else fails. And many traders spend entirely too much time chasing that, spending years and years and years trying to go from YouTube video to book to webinar to seminar, trying to find this one thing that will shortcut them to success. And the truth is that one thing doesn't exist. If there, if there was a secret, it is it's learn to read a price chart, right? Price action is king. No matter what you want to do if you're trading, whether it's indicator based, whether it's uh, momentum based, whether it's counter trend, trend continuation, pattern, support and resistance, order block, whatever you want to do, right? It all starts with price action. And, and traders have been successful in the markets using price action well before any of the other fancy stuff that we use now exists. And the truth is, if you spent that time, if you spent those three, four, five years that you you wasted chasing this dream, chasing this ghost of a holy grail, if you spent that time really learning how to read a price chart, learning the foundational elements of charting, and then spending time training that skill and getting better and better and better, well, you would have saved yourself a lot of time. And in many cases, you would have saved yourself a lot of money as well. So that's the true secret of trading, guys, that and just hard work and, of course, discipline, being able to consistently execute your plan without error. So what I want to show you in today's video is a trade we took in our live trading room, which demonstrates a, a structure based trade, a simple structure based trade, just using price action, no indicators, no oscillators, no fancy this, fancy that, simply reading the price chart and making a decision uh, on where and when to get involved. And it was a nice trade. Um, well, I'll just let you guys see it for yourself. All right. All right. Anyway. All right. So pound dollar, we're coming back into previous structure. Um, we'll be looking for a buying opportunity right down at this level using the range bar charts. Now, this is not as appetizing as it may seem here on the 15. Oops. Because back on the hourly, Back on the hourly, we have this rejection candle. So I would have loved to see, right? We talked about if we can break and close above this level right here, 3430s. Then we're likely to see a move back up to 3460s. So not too sold on the extension because we have that hold here on the 60. But I do think we can get a move back up in the previous structure. The question is, is, is there going to be enough room? So currently, you can see that we have boom, 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 bullish trend, right? We have an outside return coming back in the previous structure. What I would look for here in the range bar chart is a higher, high, higher close candle. A chance to enter, buy it up the previous structure highs, stops go below previous structure lows. Make sense? I went through it a little bit fast because we're on the range bar charts and things move quickly. But that's what I'll be looking for at this level. Now, it looks like we're not going to get it. But that's why we wait for confirmation instead of hopping right in. If price action breaks this level to the downside, we're going to have a rotation and trend.
which will probably send us lower to the 134 even handle. We may also, for bearish customers, we may also throw in right, one of our historic reversal patterns in the form of a head and shoulder. Now here's the thing. If we do trade, if we do, uh, if we do complete this head and shoulders, most likely I will already be long. Why? Because if we rally up here, we're probably going to have that higher, high, higher close, which will trigger me to get long. The head and shoulders will occur after I get long. So what do I do? Do I do I do I continue long? Do I sell at the head and shoulders? Do I do both? Yeah. So the, the question is, you can make specific rules for it, but in this situation, guess what? You can't trade both. And this is why it's very difficult for those who want to be that want to trade everything. You just can't trade everything. You can't trade both at, at this level, I should say. Because if you're long here, you're not taking targets until up here, most likely. If you're supposed to get short to head and shoulders at the, at the right shoulder level, then you should be short here. And now you have a, a decision to make. And whatever, whatever decision you make is going to be wrong. You're essentially guessing. And when you guess, you're basically using past feelings to make that decision. So you may not know it, but your mind is saying, well, what happened last time? Okay, this happened last time and that caused a lot of pain. Therefore, I don't want to see that pain again, so I'll do it this time. So be very, be very careful, the lesson is, be very careful about trying to trade every way. You don't need to. This goes for you guys that want to be trend continuation and counter trend traders. You don't need to trade every way. How about you trade one way and trade very trade that one way very, 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 very good. And then if you're able to add something to it down the road, then you can add something to it. So we'll see what happens here. If we get a break and close uh, below, obviously that changes our, our idea on this. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on pound dollar. All right, guys, back. I did get long uh, pound dollar during the break. Uh, again, we're looking at a potential uh, structure-based trade here. We did double bottom down at this level. Uh, it was a little, little bit late to entering. Again, that's the, the downside of the range bar charts. Uh, you never know when they're going to close. For example, we had a, a candle close here at 9.05, then 9.09, then 919. So we had four minutes between this candle and then 10 minutes between the next candle. Um, and then we rallied pretty quick. You can see this candle closed at 921. So only two minutes between these two candles. So the entry was a little bit uh, a little bit higher than I wanted. Wanted to get involved, uh, you know, 134.17s, but still was able to get involved. Tight stops on this one, shooting for a retest of highs up here, then a retest of our, our next structure level. Uh, see if we can get a quick little, quick little day trade and uh, and make some money. Now, talked about this earlier. This could also be a head and shoulders formation, right? We won't know until it happens, right? This this could come crashing down, and we can be like, "Hey, kill head and shoulders reversal pattern." This can continue up, and it could be a busted head and shoulders. This is why it's important that you have trading rules. Rules rule, right? If you have trading rules you know exactly how to handle this situation. If you don't have trading rules, well, now you're at the point where you're watching this market and you're like, uh, well, especially if we had a black candle forming or a bearish candle forming, you're watching a market and you're like, uh, whoa, uh, you know, every time the market ebbs and flows, you're changing your mind. Oh, I should be short, head and shoulders. Oh, no, 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 long, 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 trend continuation. Oh, no, 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 black candle, short, short. And then it's only a matter of time before you, your emotions cause you to take actions and we never want to base our actions off of our emotions we want to base our actions off of our trading rules and that's that's a that's a lesson i learned the hard way unfortunately um but those are often the best type of lessons the ones that cause you a little bit of pain are the lessons that tend to stick with you throughout time so 
We'll see how this trade plays off. Uh, you know, talked about this a little bit before the break. I can care less if it wins or loses. Um, let's, I can care minimal. Of course, I'd rather make profit than lose money. Let's be honest here. Um, but at this point the in, in the big picture, the outcome of this trade doesn't really affect me. You know why? Because my annual results in the bigger picture, this trade has zero effect on them. I just got in. Can I still get involved in the pound dollar? If it meets your trading rules, you can. If it meets your trading rules, you can. If it doesn't meet your trading rules, I would not. So the only thing that can answer that question for you is what does my trading plan say? And my guess would be, if you have to ask that question, do you have a trading plan? Probably not. Therefore, I would not look to involve myself in the trade. And again, another question, what would be my potential target? There are three things we need to know before we ever enter a trade. And, I, and I'm, I'm guessing you're probably new. So I don't mean this in a harsh way, but this is a good educational moment. What are the three things we want to know before ever entering a trade? Yep. Entries, stops, and targets. So all of that work is done before the trade. It was a good... Uh, one of my favorite trading reads, uh, it's more of an entertainment read, is the book Pitbull by Marty Swartz. And at the end of the chapter, he, he shared a, um, a note that was written to him by a very famous trader. And that note essentially said that the trader was telling him that 90%, the majority of the work that you do in trading is done before you ever enter the trade. And that is so true. We talk about all the time we spend doing analysis to typically never make anything of it, right? We right click, delete, it's like, oh, market didn't do it, and we start over, right? The reason we consistently do all of that work is so that we don't have to ask ourselves any questions once we're in the trade. So before we ever enter a trade, we want to know, we want to do all of our analysis, we want to do entry stops and targets, we want to know if the trade is a good trade or a bad trade. If it's a good trade, then of course we want to follow through with it to see if we should execute it. If it's not a good trade and we want to stay away from it. But if we ever have to ask the question of. Can I still get involved? Should I get involved? Where could where would my stops have to go? Where would my targets have to go? What that tells me. Those are good questions for educational purposes. When you're learning how to trade. But if you're asking those questions and you're intending on trading, that is a massive red flag because now you are about to involve yourself in a trade that you should not be in. And that is what we consider a bad trade. Does that make 100 percent sense? Is that crystal clear? It may sound harsh, right? It may sound harsh, and I apologize for that. I don't apologize, because in the long run, it will help you out. It will save you a lot of money in the long run, so I don't apologize. It's actually amazing how many people we, we speak to that don't even know what a trading plan is. And, and I guess that shouldn't be amazing because I was I, I had to be that person, too. I didn't know what a trading plan was at first. But it's it's once you have one for you guys that, that do have one, it's, it's the most beautiful thing in the world. It's it's essentially your Bible. It is your trading Bible. It is your business plan. It has every answer to any question that you may ever ask. And there are really no more questions or at least very limited questions. And when you have those limited questions, they eventually make their way into your trading plan. And when you're trading with that type of structure, no, pen, no pun intended, when you're trading with that type of structure, 
it's an amazing feeling because your confidence is just through the roof. You should try it sometime. For you guys that don't, you should try it. Can we hit on pound dollar? We're sitting one pip away. See if we can capture 20 pips on pound dollar. Ooh, there we go. Bang, bang, bang. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner on pound dollars. Take those stops. Let's roll it back up to break even plus a little bit. And there we go, traders. Simple structure-based trade, right? Nothing fancy here at all. Simple structure-based trade. 